Hi guys, welcome to Simproved Fry Speaking here, and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. This time it's a sushi restaurant, a karaoke bar, and a lounge. So it's these three th things just in one, and you get the karaoke bar if you have the new City Living expansion pack, and you can own restaurants if you have the Dine Out pack. So if you have neither of those two packs, you can still use it as a lounge from the base game. And yeah, I hope you like it. <laughs> so I got inspired because with the new city living pack we got lots and lots of really cool looking Asian objects and even outfits and so on and there were a lot of karaoke bars I guess too in the game already but I really didn't like them so much and I thought just the karaoke bar is a little bit too plain yeah you don't have so much stuff to do there's just like a bar and the karaoke machine and then there's really nothing that can happen there which I always thought is a little bit boring so I wanted to step it up and also do a sushi restaurant because in The Sims 4, as you know, if you have the city living pack, you can get the pufferfish nigiri which when they are not really well prepared are deadly and I just thought that would be cool I really love building death trap restaurants right now and it really works but since I don't own this restaurant I just visited with my sim for testing and of course the dishes were all like perfect so they didn't die of the puffer fish sushi there if you have the restaurant pack the dine out pack then I've set everything to experimental cuisine and put the puffer fish nigiri and a little bit more of these Asian foods from the city living on there if you have that pack too so yeah your sims can have like a really nice dining experience and um, it has two floors and on the down floor there's it's a little bit more of a modern minimalist build I really wanted it to be quite small because I didn't want to have it so much loading time if I'm visiting it with my sim and I still wanted it to be recognizable as a yeah, Japanese or just an Asian looking house. So on the second floor, on the top of the first, I placed just a normal rectangular shape, but I had this really nice intricate roof design, which is of course like the Japanese or Asian or Chinese. I have no idea, I'm so sorry, but the distinction between all those architectures is sometimes a little bit crazy, hard for me to recognize as a German. So I'm sorry, I didn't want to offend anyone if somebody is from Asia here and especially from China or Japan, maybe write in the comments what I did wrong here or what I could improve. But yeah, I really wanted to have this distinctive sh shape of the roof. I used lots of roof decorations there to make it look yeah, almost like a temple, for example. And I just thought it would be really cool to have like this nice, maybe Chinatown look if you know what I mean. So it's a crossover of old Asian architecture, but still very modernized and minimalist in the inside. And this is what I always wanted to do. And I thought that would be cool for a restaurant, but it would be also cool for a karaoke bar. So yeah, I just made it both. And then I found out that I only need a microphone and a music instrument for a lounge. And then I just thought, okay, perfect then. So it's three things in one and you can play it as, yeah, just as you like. I personally used it as a restaurant with the karaoke option and it works really well like that and it's all tested, all fine. So downstairs there is this nice deck all around where Sims can sit. I will play some tables and chairs there of course and have like a nice view in the city and inside there will be the kitchen of course and a really long counter with a bar on it. So this reminded me a little bit of these running sushi restaurants and I thought it would be really really cool. Sadly your sims don't sit at the counter. I don't know why they don't do it but they prefer to sit upstairs because upstairs I made a little hole I would say in the ground so when you're sitting upstairs you can sing karaoke, use the toilet which is there also and yeah you can dine there and look down to this really nice big counter. I thought that would be a really nice idea and it makes it a bit bigger space which is also nice I think and yeah I just thought it would be a nice minimalist touch to just use black and reds here and to have just white to like for a pop of not color but you know the white really pops in front of the black so I really like that and as you can see I used lots and lots of these red paper lanterns because oh my god they're so beautiful I just love them even at the end I find another object which is which is a lamp 
there are these Asian looking, I don't even know if they are like real Asian symbols. I guess they, for the game, they have like changed it a little bit to simlish symbols, I guess, but they look really suiting. And I just thought these are beautiful. It looks really cool. So I think maybe one day I'm going to create like a new temple build or something. I already did one with another YouTuber called Zoe from the Great Symphony. We did a dojo in Spa and it went on really, really well. So I kind of already knew the trick with the roof, for example, and the decoration there. So if you want to check that out, I will put that in the end card and maybe also in the video description if I remind myself on that. <laughs> yeah, like you can see, there's this really big counter. Like I said, there is a bar and they can reach the bar this time because I've played tested it and of course they can reach there. And if there's like nobody working at the bar, you can still like hire someone like a mixologist to work there. Also, all the restrictions are fulfilled here for this restaurant. So there's uh, two cooking stations, I guess even four waiter stations and two host stations. So if you progress and want to play with that as a restaurant, it will all work really fine. And yeah, they can reach everything. I think it's still really slow. Like having a restaurant in the game is still a process which just takes so long. Oh my God. My Sim is sitting at the table. She orders it. She has to wait one hour for just a drink. Then she orders again. It takes one and a half Sim hour till she gets her food. I don't know why this always takes so long, but I just can imagine that in the real world, this wouldn't be acceptable at all. I mean, really, if you have to wait one hour for like your whole food and everything, that's just ridiculous. I don't know why it takes so long. I really thought that they have updated it, but I really have to say that the dine out pack sometimes doesn't make really much sense. I mean, for me, it is like great to build lots of restaurants and so on. But like for really owning one and having like the gameplay with it, I really have to say that I struggle a lot with that. Oh my God. Whew, they take so long. I mean, oh, that was like really, really annoying. But yeah, in the interior, I also use these paper lanterns, of course. I luckily found, I guess they were from the dine out pack or the get to work pack, but I'm not really sure. Like some nice signs with also Asian looking stuff on it, or maybe even from Spa Day, because Spa Day was really Asian inspired sometimes. And yeah, they were really, really perfect for that. So I used them in my build <laughs> because I just thought, oh, this is perfect. So you can really recognize it as an Asian inspired build. And also your Sims can sing there with the karaoke. I've tested that as well. And at the end, I also will place lots and lots of these koi fish. I guess it's a painting or some sorts of a graffiti on the floor because I just thought, oh my, this is so, so cool. And I also took the time to do the menu. Like I said, it's experimental foods with also some sushi and the whole, is it cast? <laughs> no, it's not the cast, but like the whole personal working there, they will wear lots of city living outfits, which were really, yeah, Asian looking. And I really like that. So they are also suited for the occasion, I would say. And yeah, I really, really like that to build this so in gameplay it was really much fun to you know just visit it as a karaoke bar or a restaurant and yeah it all works really fine but I have to say if you own it as a restaurant or just uh, owning restaurants in general is a little bit too much work for my taste I couldn't make it work like literally I couldn't make it work to play with a restaurant to make it to a like five-star restaurant I really wouldn't have any patience for that oh my god and they say that I'm so patient because I used to build like five hours or something but hey then you have something you can look on you can look back and see oh my god I played uh, like I built every single object here and it looks so pretty or whatever you have like some kind of satisfaction when you build but if you have the restaurant I mean everything looks the same but you just get the five stars which are also like somehow fictional so I was like oh my god it's just annoying <laughs> to be honest but maybe you have some tips for me how to do the restaurant better but I really couldn't figure out why it takes so long till the waiter comes until they are seated and oh my god it's just it takes lots and lots of sim time like really real sim time so they really spend like five to six hours in one restaurant and I really think like who does this kind of stuff like nobody in real life is like so long in a restaurant right I mean maybe if you are in a large group but not in real life like who does that in this sushi restaurant now 
that's just crazy but yeah maybe write me in the comments what you th think about that guys but i would say it's just unacceptable to wait so long for your dish <laughs> but yeah so the kitchen works fine there are like like i said two workstations upstairs there are two separate toilets for the ladies and the men and yeah i also used the high-tech talking toilet from the city living pack so i thought that would be like suiting i mean for me japan is always the, the country with the weird technical stuff and they have like really i wouldn't say weird but highly technological toilets like that that they can do stuff even more than just flush i mean that's just crazy so i just thought that the talking toilet would be perfect for that <laughs> and yeah also there are some speakers on the wall in the, to uh, in the toilet so you have some nice ambient relaxing sounds there i just thought that would be cool <laughs> if it's like too much trouble in the karaoke bar and someone really sings horrible you can go to the toilet and enjoy the music there and relax a little bit <laughs> So yeah, upstairs, like I said, there are some tables. You can look down to the big yeah, counter or bar. Then there's this little booth in the middle with the karaoke. Use lots and lots of these effect laser lights or whatever they're called to make it look a little bit more like disco-y or like for a performance stage of some sorts. And yeah, is there something about it? No, I think that's actually everything I told you. So it's, I guess, in the city living, I placed it on a lot where there was like a karaoke bar before and it works all really fine. So you can just place it maybe if you want to download it, the download link is in the video description below. And before you place it, I would recommend you to put in the move objects sheet just to make sure that everything is on the right place. Like I said, everything works fine. I've tested it, so no worries about that. And yeah, that's it. Write me in the comments what kind of build you want to see next. Maybe another community lot or so, or maybe another apartment or penthouse. I'm really open for everything. I, at this point, I really don't know what to build anymore. <laughs> so I'm highly highly enjoy if you write me some nice ideas and yeah that's it so i want to thank you so so much for watching enjoy the screenshots and i will see you soon bye bye